All right, advent of code day 11. Here we go. We got 34 seconds on the clock. So we go ahead and pull it up and we're just working the problem. Um, I'm not going to stay up like I did last. I, I, I worked on 10 for like three hours because I, I couldn't think of the parody solution last night. I think I was just too tired to think through like the parody solution and why I was missing some key detail. <coughs> But here we go. Five, four, three, two, and one. All right. You continue following signs for Hathbrain, eventually come across an observatory. The alpha then turns out to be a researcher studying cosmic expansion using the giant telescope here. It's another grid problem. Um, he doesn't know anything about the missing machine parts he's only visiting for this research project. However, he confirms that the hot springs are the next closest area likely to have people. He'll even take you straight there once he's done with today's observation house. Maybe you can open the research has collected a bunch of data and compiled the data into a single giant image or puzzle input. The image includes empty space and galaxies. Okay. Uh, new file test input dot text and alright. And then we'll also need to make a file uh Input. Okay. Um, my researcher is trying to figure out the sum of the lengths of the shortest path between every pair of galaxies. However, there's a catch. The universe expanded in the time it took light from those galaxies to reach the observatory. Due to something involving gravitational effects, only some space expands. In fact, the result is that any any rows or columns that contain no galaxies should actually be twice as big. In the above example, three columns and two rows contain no galaxies. These rows and columns need to be twice as big. The result of the cosmic expansion, therefore, looks something like this. Okay. Equipped with this expanded, the shortest path between every pair of galaxies um, in these nine galaxies are 36 pairs. Only count each pair once. Order within the pair doesn't matter. For each pair, find any shortest path between two galaxies using only step. Okay. So, uh, okay. Okay, so it's just the Manhattan distance. Got it. It's the Manhattan distance. Okay, so. Um, oh, wait, no, because it's not the Manhattan distance. Oh, this is, this is, this is a lovely problem. Okay. I already have an idea in mind. I want to make a new, um, I want to make star map. Okay. Because the trick is, it's not just that we have a coordinate plane of, of characters, we have a coordinate plane of weights. And so, uh, class star map is going to have, and this time I am absolutely, I mean, I learned from yesterday, let me go ahead and make a coordinate class, and this is going to be a, uh, this is going to be a data class with uh, x, int, y, okay. Not the man. We're actually gonna have to do searching here. Oh god, this is gonna, this is gonna be tricky. Um, well, wait, no, do we? Because no, I actually think it. Yeah, you can just do the Manhattan distance. Yeah, because of the fact that it's straight lines, there's no like, there's no cutting. Like you're gonna have to pass through the spaces anyway. I think you could just get rid. We'll find out. Okay. Run into the problem, we run into the problem. Um this is going to be Val uh uh grid. And these are this is either galaxies or space. So I'm just gonna do a grid of ints. Um uh no, let's do a grid car. Grid equals list of list car and uh, 
and height and width. Um, sorry, dropping into Java here. I'm bouncing back and forth between writing the two because of exams and stuff right now. The int width int and the height is the number of rows and so um it is the number of rows uh which is going to be uh Let's just let's let's reverse this. I'll specify that and I'll derive that. So the height is equal to the number of rows. So that's grid dot. Um, sorry, I need to define this as val and val, and that is equal to grid dot size and the width is equal to grid zero dot size but in addition to this i need uh so this is going to be um factor rename actually no come to yeah i need about grid and then i need val weight and initially, this is going to be um, an array this is going to be an int or this is going to be an array int array and it's going to be equal to array of um array of oh, I remember now it's it's array of and it's an array of height and then in brackets that is an array of width and then in brackets that is going to be one Am I, am I, I'm approaching this wrong, I think. I think I'm approaching this wrong. I think having a weight is going to be bad. I think I just want to transform this. Let's, let's, let's drop the object for a second. Okay. Um. Right. Okay. Let's drop the object for a second. Let's actually wait. No, let's not drop the object for a second. Uh, what I can do is I can do um, a tree expansion grid. Okay. Tree expansion grid is that. And now what I want to do is I want to do something like, um, you know, get empty. Fun get empty rows, and this is going to um for pre expansion grid um pre expansion grid dot for each that's gonna give me the rows um I want to filter um I want to filter out the rows. So row where row dot contains uh, 
and then I want actually the index of that. So I want index row dot contains r uh, dot map index Okay, actually, right. Dot indices. This is how I have to do it. I. The problem is that I can't really like, get the index out of it. Uh, dot indices. Dot map. Index. Um. Pre grid. That's what I'll call this. Pre grid. Uh, index pre grid index I want to filter all those out. <laughs> Unresolved reference exclamation point. That's a good sign. Uh, I filter those out. Then to list. So if I do, um, and then in main, it's just going to be process input is going to return uh, a star grid or star map. And it's going to be. Uh, lines dot map it dot to car array dot to array uh, oh to type array and what Okay, I guess it can it can intuit that. Uh, and then I want to return star map of that. And oh right, that's right, it's it's to list. Uh I need to do two car array dot to list then to list okay uh from there we have our star map i just want to do print line uh star map dot get empty rows let's do empty rows first because that one's easier um what there we go oops i am running the wrong thing uh oh wait do i not return oh right Turn, and that is return um, list in. So this is my empty rows. Three and seven, which is uh, 
which is correct, three and seven. Then I need to reverse this. I want to reverse this because um, this gives me the, the rows in order. I want to um, val var a grid list car car equals expand free grid. So this is a private function, and what it's going to do is I want to get first get my empty rows dot reversed. Rows to expand. And it's in reverse because I want to be able to maintain sort of the index. So the point is, I want to insert an empty row at index 7. But if I insert it 3 first, 7 would move down. So it's just easier to do um, grid dot add Oh wait, I need to make this mutable. Um grid equals pregrid dot uh map it dot to mutable list dot to mutable list um okay I'm going to make a local grid, and then I'm going to return grid. And just what I want to do is rows to expand dot for each grid dot add uh, I'm adding a row, and so the row is a uh, val row length equals um grid zero dot size um I want to do for each grid dot A list list of let's see. Um, can I, can I make Hotlin make list of size with the fault value. For each, I need to I need to actually first make val empty 
row equals mutable list of car. for each row index. Um, and you can do, uh, equals mutable list of car then repeat uh, this is going to be repeat row length times empty row dot add period uh, that's empty space, right? Yeah. All right, now let's just see if that gives me... Uh, let's do... Uh, let's do uh, no, 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 no major generation of code with AI with this. I want to do uh, override fun to string, and I'm just going to return... Uh, let's do... Return grid dot uh, join to string actually grid dot map map it dot join to string. And I think I actually want this to be parentheses, yeah, not brackets, dot, join to string with a new line character. I think that's right. Okay. Uh, Yeah, apparently I can just do that. Cool. Okay. Now let's do um print line star map. Let's see if I get the expanded rows. All right, I do. That worked. Awesome. I got my expanded rows, so now I need to do the same with seven. Uh, and so I need, to, I need to do the same with columns. And so I'm just going to do... Now this one's a bit trickier, because what I want to do is I want to... Um, now use... So not the row index, but um, how do I do an empty column? Uh, I'm just going to do, this is a stupid way to do it, but is column empty, and this is going to do uh, Boolean, and this is going to take in an column index int, and then just um, okay, what does this do? Return grid dot all.
right? Okay. And then now I can just do um a pre-grid zero dot indices. Um filter is column empty it. And from there, do val um, columns to expand equals, and again, uh, it's going to be, we're going to reverse it, just makes our life easier, and then, is this what I want? Mutable column, repeat. Grid dot size it dot add yep no yes wait yes is this right no it's not it's not right um No, that one. This is cannot invoke iterable because this all dot IV is null. Return. Oh, wait, I need, right, I need to do pre-grid here. Because I have two grids. I have my pre-grid and my post-grid. And did I get the behavior I wanted? Uh, let's check. Um, where's my... I think I got the behavior I wanted. Uh, okay, yeah. All right, that's cool. Uh, that really cool that the A came up with that. Um, okay, so now I need to get my um, val list val uh, galaxy positions or galaxy coordinates equal uh list list coordinate equals get galaxy positions pre grid and now I just take in no not pre grid sorry I want to take in the grid I want um you know, or or a grid dot filter. Actually, let's do grid dot for each index. Um, we're gonna do index row wait how did it know that i guess it's just pulling that off of That's creepy that it knew that. Okay.
Turn galaxy coordinates. Now I can have it prepared because that's the worst. Oh. And then what is what specifically is it going to ask for? It's going to ask for um, expand the. Okay, in this example, after expanding the universe, the sum of the shortest path between all thirty six pairs is thirty seven. Okay, so path length is nine because it takes you get from five to nine. The eight other locations plus the step on to nine itself. Okay. Here are some other shortest path lengths. Okay, so I'm going to look for 374. So what I want is um, get distance from Why well, I, I, this actually makes sense to put on coordinate? Uh, fun distance to coordinate coordinate, and this is the Manhattan distance. So it is just uh, well, I'm gonna do that except return delta x plus delta y. And I want the absolute value. So I want the abs. I, I need some abs. I really, really, really need some abs right now. I just I just could use some abs. That's all. I just I just really want to get some abs. Um turn int. So for example, in my uh, my input, my test input, uh, my distance is from here to here should be 4. My distance from here to there should be 1, 2, 3, or, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. That, and that's 1, 2, 3, yeah. So I think that's right. Um, so it's the shortest path from one galaxy to every other galaxy. I think. I mean, again, like it's just the Manhattan distance, right? Only counting each pair once. Order within pair doesn't matter. For each pair, find that. Yeah. Okay. So it's just. Um, want get uh, fun get some of shortest distances I'm, I'm dreading what part two is going to be but for now this doesn't seem that bad okay galaxy coordinates dot for each uh, a galaxy Coordinates dot uh, sum or uh, dot filter it does not equal a I want to map actually. I want to map that to the sum of this, so dot map to so map each galaxy that's not a to uh, a dot distance to it. Um, I'll fuck off. Sorry, I used coordinate before. Dot sum. Uh, 
God. So yes, sum of and then dot sum. And we just want to return that. Return the sum of sums, right? So let's uh, do that. Let's now do main. Uh, this is going to, uh, we're now going to pass star map to part one. And then we just return star map dot get some of shortest distances. We get, oh wait, because is it as simple as just divide by two? I hope it. It should be as simple as divide by two. 374 and 374. There we go. Okay. All right. Prepare to be part one. Uh, let's now do... That number, moment of truth. Yes, part one is done, although that took longer than I would like. Part two, galaxies are much older and thus farther apart than research initially. Now, instead of the expansion you had before, make each row or column one mil... Damn it, I should have done the weights. I should have done the weights. I should have done the weights. Uh, should be replaced with... I should have done the weights. I should have done the weights. I should have done the weights. Um. All right. I knew I like as soon as I did. I'm like, oh man, let's just actually expand it. This is so much easier if I just do the weights. Um. Okay. So we're gonna turn this into expand. And this is going to take in an int um, uh, factor int. I knew I should have done it as weights. Okay, so now um, Okay, yeah, this is going to take longer. I can do it, but honestly, I kind of just want to tackle it tomorrow. Um, so for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do two. Uh, I'm going to expand by a factor of one. Because this is right now, it's repeat one. And I can just tell you right now that Expanding this a million, like, it's it's literally just not going to be possible. I, I'm just, I know for absolute certain it is not possible to do. Um, like, and then I would do this here. And I, I can just tell you right now, I am, I am immediately going to face problems. Um, right, because... Uh, now it's going to be val expansion factor int. And this is going to be expansion factor, which is, uh, technically it's going to be factor minus one. But like, so right now if I go back to main and I change this to uh
comma two. Um, Yeah, honestly, the easiest thing to do is just to reread the input. Um, as silly as that is to do. One and. We pack bear every name. Lines part one, sort of the the um <sighs> get and get star map. Um then this is gonna be Expansion factor int, and this is going to be expansion factor, which means I need to add expansion factor here. Um, which is going to be requiring adding an expansion factor here, uh, which means so Val get our map part one and then part two it is one million um point is that now i'm you know in theory i should be able to reuse this method so just refactor function The trick is Like, I wouldn't even be able to do an extension factor of like 10,000 here. But, um, this is just going to be get some, get some, get some, get some part one star map and get some star map part two. And, like, even if I did 10,000, uh, well, oh shit, I, I just told it to print. That's bad. I, I I need to not have like any any print vector. But yeah, like even if I were to do ten thousand, like this this is just impractical, right? And that's just with ten thousand. Um, can I even do it with a thousand? Can I even do it with ten? All right, yeah, so like, I mean, at this point, actually, it, it, this number needs to be a long now, um, which means that uh, this number I definitely am going to need these numbers to be longs now, I think. Um, means I need to go to 
this and turn it into a long, uh, which means this needs to be too long. And then I think I'm okay. But like, yeah, I mean, just actually expanding it isn't possible. And so I, there's two approaches. One is to give every cell a weight, at which point I simply just multiply its weight by the thing that I'm adding, uh, which is going to need to be a long, because that's going to involve a billion somewhere in there. At which point, now my searching algorithm... just means that um, oh god now my searching algorithm gets worse well no I, I could probably just do a greedy algorithm it would yeah that would be do a greedy algorithm over the weights the other would be to just Check the rows I traversed to see if any of them are empty, at which point just get empty rows. Let's try real quick. I'm just going to try it. Fun. Get expanded distance. Uh, and this is going to be... For now, let's leave that here. Get expanded distance long. Then Well, I know if I'm st if I'm starting from a galaxy, I know that I'm on weight one. So I know that I can just cut. I can just go straight up and then straight over. That's still going to be the fastest path. So actually, I don't think this is that bad. Uh, get expanded distance. Uh, a coordinate, comma b. I think this is still the best way to do it, and then it's just if uh, or, um, val or a var I would just actually do it this way. I would do um, Low x equals, I'll actually do this, uh, min x equals, min x equals min of a dot x and b dot x. Now I do have to remember that x is the rows, so weirdly enough, that is, I want to look for the empty rows, which actually, I mean, that, yeah. So, we're going to get the min of x. Um, I don't like this co coerce at most function. That's just confusing to me. I'm going to use math.min because that makes sense to me. Um, and then val max equals math.max. A, x, b, x. And then it's just going to be um, 4. I'm going to do min x min x, and I need to go up to and including max x, we're going to do uh, the cannot be invoked as a function. 
Oh wait, I want to do um dot sum no dot map um um map row index if empty rows get empty rows dot contains uh mint x or uh, row x dot then if that contains that, then we return the ex then we return ex this dot expansion factor um, else one. Oh, I'm missing a parenthesis, that's why. Okay. And then we just return the sum. Then we just do the same with y. But in y, in y, and yeah, sure, I could extract this to a function, but I'd have to do a bunch of generalizations that are going to be annoying, and I just don't want to do that. So, neener. Um, This is the column index. Okay. And then it's just return x distance plus y distance. Um, L, L dot long dot too long. Okay, now we just stick with pre-grid. We just stick with the pre-grid. Um, so we just delete this in its entirety. We delete so this becomes pre-grid. And then we just get rid of this expansion function altogether. Then when we get the distance, we're just instead going to use, uh, if a is not equal to that, we're just gonna do get expanded distance a it first going back to star map um And actually, let's go ahead and cache now uh, empty rows. That way we're just not recalculating it every time. Um, list int equals 
uh, get empty rows, val empty columns, list int equals get empty columns, and that way we cache it, and now we can just do uh, empty rows. What was it? Oh, yeah. And empty columns. Okay. Now, before we do anything else, let's just test um, let's just do our test input. Ooh. Something's wrong. Following declarations have the same JVM signature. Oh, right, 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 right. Um, simple solution. Okay, so except I don't have the right value now. Expansion factor. Test input. Yeah, I'm getting the wrong value. I'm, it's getting too big now. And I don't know how to fix this because It's not like we can skip a row or a column. Do I have a bug in my code? I'm going to have this backwards. Let's just check if I have this backwards. I don't think I have it backwards because I'm having it. But in either case, I'm wrong. Is... Because if so, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to move left to where I'm at the galaxy and then move up to where I'm at the galaxy. And I can't imagine a faster route. I can't imagine a faster route because I know that the row I'm on, space is only expanded when I'm passing through columns that have expanded. Oh, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Because I think I need to do this plus one. And then I need to do this plus one. Got it. 
that works. Yeah, I needed to add one here because I'm already at the point. I'm not moving to the point. So I was adding the distance like on those first moves. Um but like I was adding the distance, yeah. I I I it's true to explain exactly, um, but the point is that I'm only moving left. I'm not moving, like, to my position and then left. I, it's hard to describe what I mean by that, but basically I was adding my starting column value, and so if I was moving left, I was adding both the left move and, like, the up move simultaneously, and I only wanted to add sort of one. Anyway, now if I change this to one million... My input there. Uh, now let's do. This is going to be a really big number, an absurdly big number, but I think it's right. Boom, and that's how we do. That's how we do. I should have done weights to begin with. 